you. It's just a little orb. Hear me, alright? It's like all layered. Um, yeah, I went to this talk today. It was um, by this guy who arrested for drug charges when he was in America. He's an English guy and he spent six years in America's worst prison and me and my friend from work went Right, um, um, we're ready. I'm ready. Have you got some information on it? Should I get some information yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, you do everything. I've just run out of steam. I've just lost my phone. Uh, okay. My computer is freaking out. I better shut some tabs. <laughs> Fucking hell, there's something going on outside. What? Fight. Oh no. No, I keep hearing like banging. Mm-mm. No one cares. Alright, I'm ready to go. Okay, hello everybody. <gasps> hello everybody! We're back online. Mm. Oh, it's been so long. I've got this up. Do this. Welcome to the manga forum. How... Oh yeah, I forgot. Welcome to the manga forum. I'm Alexa. <laughs> and I'm Laura! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Um, Today is March the 11th, and this month, or at least this sometime between like last month and today, Lexter and I have been reading World's, World's Greatest, Greatest Love. love. It? Oh, it's First Love. Shit, I've been calling it World's Greatest yeah, Love. Yeah, I keep getting it wrong. Is that something else? It's I don't know. World's Greatest something else. Um, yeah, so... I blasted it out in one afternoon basically I yeah. decided to read it just because I had seen a screenshot of it on Twitter and thought that looks amazing um, <laughs> and basically I did I did enjoy it, it took a while to warm up I think through the book well Lex but I yeah. did really like it I thought it's it's what I've been wanting to read my wait, whole wait, life wait. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> should we just do a quick, like, rundown? Yeah. I was going to say, I was going to say, should we just do a quick rub down <laughs> of rub down. what it is? A rub yeah. down? Okay, so, yeah, I always said that. I thought, it was, I don't know, I'm just very tired. A like, rub down. Okay, so, 
<laughs> so, okay. This is what the blurb says. So we've both read um, volume one. And the blurb is tired of the accusation. Oh, I've got something to say about the blurb, but we'll get to that afterwards. But so tired of accusations of hold on. Tired of accusations that family connections got him his current position. Ritsu Onodera, which is also Pum Pum's name, got lots to say about this. Okay, Ritsu Onodera quits his job as editor at his father's company to transfer to uh, Mar- Marukawa Publishing. Once there, he is assigned to the Shoujo manga editorial department, something he has no interest in and no experience with. Having sworn he'd never fall in love again, the last thing he wants to do is work on love stories. To make matters worse, it turns out that his overbearing boss, uh, Matsumume Takano, is actually (gasps) the first love from high school. Oh my God. Could anything be more Yaoi Shoujo? So Lex, okay. Seeing as you read it just today, what are your thoughts? Okay, I thought it's something I've... Basically, the way the cheesiness and the tropes throughout, um, basically, is something I've just wanted from manga my whole life. Like, I basically think that... Oh, hang on. Oh no. Is everything all right? Yeah, Jake just woke up crying. He just does sometimes. Oh shit. Oh, because he's lost, he's lost his dummy, or he's just confused most of the time and half to sleep. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I, well, it's the fan fiction that I've always written. <laughs> no, it, it's like you always want regular shoujo manga to take it that far, but yeah. they never do. No, I think so. My thought of this is couple of things um it doesn't say until actually the end of the volume anything about him transferring from his um father's company so i only got that when i read the blurb the blurb blurb gives much more away and i almost wish that this hadn't been it's like spoiler there's too many spoilers in the blurb the beginning it says I, oh, well, maybe I missed that. Yeah. But definitely, like, you don't find out that his first love from high school is his boss until the until halfway through the middle. And yeah, but you get... I you actually... Get, um, the boss does act yeah. funny towards him. Yeah, and you do get led down that road. So I think even if I hadn't known, I would have been like, oh, this is going to go somewhere. But my thinking is... So this was not usually something I would pick up, mm-hmm. right? Because whole shoujo romance thing I mean, done it. in very pink. real shoujo. Yeah. But my main thought is it's funny, right? So it's actually pretty funny at some places. And I really liked how it describes the way that manga is made. It, so yeah, a little bit it like... It has the perfect balance between all things. Like yeah. not too much boring and... stuff. Not too like of the, you know, like world building, the career and that. It's not too boring. It's yeah. not too much of that. Um, it's great. It's a little bit silly, and because obviously things like where he makes out with him in the business meeting to show him what a real kiss looks like, and all of that sort of stuff is like really naff and a bit like. <laughs> mm, also, okay. and it's just like a bit sexual harassment, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, there's loads of that in it, but we'll just skip over that, right? <laughs> but I also liked. It's funny that you say like not too much of some stuff because. I was reading it thinking like, when are they going to get to the actual yaoi stuff? Because it says here, explicit content, right? Yeah. And I was reading it thinking like, there's been no explicit content except two male kissing until all of a sudden it drops, right? And I was on a plane 
reading this quite openly in front of everyone. <laughs> and then there is quite a sort of full on sexy Ooh. hand, jizz, everything. And um, yeah, it comes out of nowhere, which I then was like, yep, yeah, okay, explicit content pretty good yeah it was good it was good explicit content that was his dream wasn't it of when they were back in high school no there's a there's like when he goes around to his flat oh yeah and he gives him that a, bit a, a, yeah the sexual harassment <laughs> where he gives him a hand <laughs> job he didn't want <laughs> but wanted <laughs> <laughs> i was a bit uncomfortable with that because i was like is it just because it's two guys that people just think like that level of sexual aggression is fine? It may I be. That was a but there weird. is a sex scene. Isn't there a sex scene as well? Yeah, there's a sex scene where he's either remembering or fantasizing about his. Um, yeah, about it, I don't know if it was a true memory because he was dreaming. So I don't know if that was them in high school, wasn't it? I'm just reliving it now. Just lots of like tongue rubbing. Oh nipples, my god, the tongue, that, the panel stuff. where they're just tonguing each other. It's just so dumb. Just yeah, like... that's what I'm just. That made me laugh. Ah. <laughs> this, I've just seen it. It's so, it's so good. It's so good. It, it's I mean, so good. I um, read more. It's so fucking good. And I do, I want to read more as well because I don't think it's going to go necessarily down. The typical route, mainly because they've now. I don't even know the typical. I don't know. He's route. going to try and. I've never read Yaoi before. Oh no! I'm talking shoujo. Oh, shoujo. Typical route, where they like circle each other for a while. Oh, oh that may happen. Yeah. Whatever. But like, I. They're not. I together. definitely like the world. Yeah, I like the world, and you're right. I don't know what the typical is going to be because usually it's, you know, like male and female. This is not going to do that. Um, I wonder if they'll bring in any female characters to kind of balance it out a little I bit. Really, um, um, I really liked um, the bit where he went to Hokkaido and he was re get, to get that ma manga author back in shape. Like, that wasn't boring. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. that was no. Good. And that's, that, that's the kind of stuff that reminded me a little bit of Bakuman, mm. where it's talking a lot about the way that... that manga is written and I, I think that's really cool I, I really enjoyed reading that aspect it's of it it's been a definite theme with so what we've been reading hasn't it yeah by mistake because I didn't I didn't know that this would be about manga writing I thought this would be more sort of like person you know personal stories and that uh, more character based also I like how I like how they're older yeah because I also thought that they were all going to be younger but the older characters are like in their late 20s i thought oh that's my impression i, don't know <laughs> I was looking that. up yaoi today um on google yeah. like what um best yaoi to read or whatever and one of them was like yeah. surely a top 10 about high school yaoi and i was like no <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i don't want that <laughs> i'm fed up with high what school shoujo as well um, yeah, I was thinking yeah. I would just I like to read it. this for a while until I don't want to read it anymore. To be honest, yeah, like I'd, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I wonder how many volumes there are. Did you buy the book, yeah. or did you? So obviously, I've been. Yeah, I bought it at that like um, at Alcon actually. Did I do that as well? No, no I think I bought in, mine online. You bought it in Forbidden Planet, Second I hand. think. Oh, just, oh yeah, three for two. Yeah, that's right. Oh, well remembered. Like I got a good manga memory. But, um, but yeah, I loved it. I want to read more. I think that. Do you think he's? This... An, do you think he's got a relationship with the boss? Boss. Um. Oh God, there's loads of. Oh, the the tall, dark, and handsome guy. Maybe there's like ten. Yeah, because that's only ten. That's pretty it good. Have more, like, but it took me. It's not come out yet. Like I, I read it. No. I read it on the plane back. Yeah. I read it on the plane back from Dubai, so that was what, like six hours, and I smashed it out in that. And I read more than I'd read it in about two hours, I reckon, because I just went straight I read through it. About it. An hour or oh. so, yeah, I think. And um, yeah, I reckon he does have a relationship with the older guy, like the, I think the boyfriend and the, the older editor. Possibly. What do you think? The... Friesen? I don't know, because the boss was like, you fuck, you're the one who fucked him up emotionally from high school days. Mm. Yeah, so basically this guy starts a new job and 
it's his high school boyfriend and now they're just kind of and his high school boyfriend's like I'm gonna make you love me again yeah that's a bit weird he's he's but doesn't he say something like you hate me so I'm gonna make you love me so, so you hate me even more or something oh yeah I'm gonna make you say in within one year you'll say I love you what do we think yes He seems a bit of a creep. Yeah, I mean, you just give him that that wasn't really hand job. like that wasn't nice. <laughs> no. Um, so there are other books here because this is published by something called Sublime, which I've never Did heard of. Advert? Maybe it's a Yowie. Did you see the advert at the back where it's like, your toys love boys yeah. love? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm just, I was just about to comment Look on that. I was like, Mike. Um, Mike, do I suppose look at this? <laughs> Wait, Lex, is this the first Yaoi you've ever read? It's definitely my first. Okay. I have, it's not, I've so read, much out there. I've read some fan fiction Yaoi. Um, but I'm not a huge, um, it's got, a... I'm not a Yaoi follower or anything. I just read a lot of fan fiction. I was going to say, right, so. They have um they this sublime manga publisher have a Twitter so maybe we should add them on Twitter. Let's just see what else is out there. Honey, was it Honey Darling? There's one of the what was it adverts at the back. It's funny because it's not. Well, I've only got um... to say about it, but um, it's just really good. Mm -hmm. um, and I suppose we we'll just explore it in our journey. <clears throat> I guess negative things. Reading over it, negative things. I can comment oh. on but it's more of a style thing so maybe some people like it but there's a lot of words and there's a lot of like motion lines so when people are speaking you have all these like really tick, 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 like lines coming out of speech bubbles and that i thought and the art so was... some of the pictures i found i thought the art wasn't very good yeah that's what i'm basically i think that's my bottom line um like some it's just very, it's very style. It reminds me of Auran. I thought it was book, like where there's just quite amateurish, rather than a style. I know that's quite rude. Yeah, I mean, but especially the way um, the main character is drawn, is the blonde much. guy. Shade. Uh, he's not yeah. done very well compared to the his, the dark haired one. Do you get, I definitely get a bit confused between them all, even if they do have, actually there were bits in it as well where I thought people looked very similar even when they were together. So like the editors, you know, there's a couple of other yeah, editors who work in their team. I don't think you're meant to, but I did feel a bit like, this is really confusing. Um, but otherwise- I thought the first half was very confusing and the slow burn, because it's all about him just thinking to himself about how he is struggling with the job and that was quite yeah boring. there's so much text like look at this page well i'm just going to pull off the page and i don't know if anyone can read it but it's just text everywhere yes yes like and it's just it's too much heavy 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 and oh, just weird feedback um but like reading so i'm reading watchmen at the moment <coughs> um which is an alan moore Dave Gibson comic by DC, I think. Oh, yeah. And Western comics seem to have so much te text, so much, so much heavy text and dialogue, right? And when I, I don't know, I just, maybe because I'm used to reading manga that's much higher, like, without so much text, but it really does bog my brain out. Same. I just get a bit like, you know, I'm like, I did actually just skip some. I was just like, you know, like skim reading. Oh, no. It's like, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, the general gist, this is just his thoughts. It's not like really important. You could tell. Yeah, so yeah. just skim, skim read those bits, especially because yeah. I had a, not oh. long to read it in. But mm, you did well. Yeah. Reading it in one day. But then once I got halfway through, I did read it properly. Once, it, once the story started mm -hmm. heating up. Once you've got a little bit of sex. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I really want to read it where... again. Um, yeah, so basically our plans are, is just to feature Yaoi every month or so. And we think we should keep reading this for a while. Yeah, Yowie okay. Yaoi hour. And then Yowie the next one we're doing hour. is, if we can see each other in time, Yeah. to read Descending Stories. 
That's our next plan, isn't it? I've forgotten about that. Yeah, I've read the first one, but I might read the second one in that time as well. Then I've got, I've bought second and third, so I need to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool, yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't I know anything about it. Yeah, me too. I was gonna. I so I was a little bit late for this podcast recording. Yeah. But what I wanted to do was look up the author as well and just have some fun facts. Yeah, do let's do any... that, definitely. Now, my computer is not Nama Kamura. Um, so, oh, he is a yaoi artist. Because um, sometimes I thought maybe he was just a, a manga artist who did, like, yaoi stories as well, as other stuff. He's yeah. most famous for creating something called Jinjo Romance, Pure Romance. Oh, yeah, that's an anime, it said, didn't it? Is it? It's been made into an anime. And also, unless some of... Like, this one hasn't come up on his... I'm looking at his... Uh, Wikipedia. Oh, got a good link. Wiki... Uh, Wikipedia page, rather. Oh, she! Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a lady. It's a lady. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, this has not... Wikipedia is not giving me any information. She's super cute. And loves boy and boy stories. I was hoping that um that we'd get some more Oh, there's an interview with her as well. Oh god, there's so much so much I could have probably done. Top five manga by Shinju uh Nakimara. Let's have a look at that. Honey's anime, who's this? Ooh. <coughs> this website maybe i'll follow them on instagram okay no focus so <laughs> oh no this okay so i'm reading a post by this website called honey's anime shout out i'm gonna add you on um instagram but fujiyoshi friday that's like the term Ooh. they use in princess jellyfish yeah the five best mangas by um this author uh nakamura Oh no, they're all in Japanese titles. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, fuck you... it up. Junjo Ra Junjo um, Romantica. Okay, number one apparently is Hybrid Child. Hybrid Child? A hybrid Child is, yeah, a Hybrid Child is a miracle of technology. With love and care from their owners, they grow and learn. A hybrid Child is a reflection of the master. This sounds really nice, actually. While seemingly unconnected, three tales make up the overarching story of Hybrid Child. <coughs> it doesn't sound too yaoi. But Maybe it's not. Who knows? And she draws it as well, apparently. She's the artist and the author. Let's read some um, Amazon reviews. For oh, yeah, go on. Love. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is my favourite thing. <laughs> Adornia says, It's a really good book series. I'm enjoying how it's unfolding, and this was a great instalment to the series. That's a bit generic. Okay, Wendy. Yeah. Come on, Wendy. Wendy Gordon. Just received this book today and just sat down and read it. It was absolutely amazing, as usual. I can't wait for the next instalments. Oh, well, people aren't being very specific, are they? Is it um? Is it all positive? I'm looking it up now yeah, as well. Yeah, all positive. Oh, what's the three stars say? Good story. Very uncomfortable to read. This, what? this is by Ju Julia. Okay. This is a very enjoyable story, but a very uncomfortable one. Perhaps I'm being too sensitive. Perhaps I don't understand what two guys find attractive being a heterosexual woman. <laughs> if this sort of thing... <laughs> oh no, what, 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 what? In quote says, does the business downstairs. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, ro read the whole quote again. <laughs> okay. Perhaps I don't understand what two guys found attractive being a heterosexual woman. If this yeah. sort of thing, does the business downstairs <laughs> 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 to more people than not, then it has done its job. <laughs> but, oh, oh. So to get off oh. down the business downstairs but I found that the fact that the poor boy's manager constantly forces himself upon him which is what I said 
despite mm. the fact that he frequently says no to the point where he is physically holding him down to be quite appalling. Oh my god. Yeah. I can't say that well, I yeah. find this workplace bullying and sexual assault to be that fun mm. to read about. Sorry. And no, the fact that he ends up liking it or some such other justification really is not good enough to alleviate just how awkward I felt. That excuse mm. does not work when a guy holds a woman down, so as far as I'm concerned, it shouldn't work at any other time either. Three stars. Yes, Very well Julie. said, Julie. Very well said, Julie. Funny enough, it's funny that we're talking about this, though, because I've recently started listening to a podcast called um, My Dad Wrote a Porno. Oh, yeah. I'm a little, I'm a little bit behind, but um, behind the times because it was like released like two or three years ago. Yeah. But it's about basically it's a porno, so none of it has to make any sense. But it's a lot of like having sex all of a sudden on a desk without her kind of consent. <laughs> it's so this is kind of yeah same sort of thing. So um, I also looked when so I'm on Amazon as well, and I went to go and look for customers who auto bought this item to try and find some other stuff. Oh, yeah. And there's this one that's just popped up called 10 Count. And it looks amazing, Lex. So I might just uh, buy oh, that. 10 as Count. Well. Yes. Yeah. That is meant to be really good. I saw a it's review got... on that today. Some of these reviews are insane. Like 91%, well, 11, 11 customers, right? And the first review is like, oh my God, Lord have mercy. I wish I was a hot, gay, pink haired secretary with OCD. <laughs> And he's like, I know, I know. I'm just some crazy BL fan. Boys love, for those who don't know. Oh, boys My love review them. doesn't count. But girl, <laughs> you are too. That's why you're here. God, they know us. <laughs> like, I know. I know I... my stuff. I'm going to put this in my box, my basket. I know. I've been reading a lot of um, Trixie and Katia Yaoi fan fiction. And it's just no. so good. Can you please send to me? I need, I need something to laugh at. I mean, that, that's pretty good. No, it's just most of them are like other world, other universe. I do not read those. I don't have time for those. Well, like fantasy. Yeah, like Trixie and fantasy. Kenny are both in high school. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, no, 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 no. And what it, must they think? I read one. Like, I read. I read one. Shit. <laughs> Katia was like, because it is, it's kind of fucked up. Well, she's like in a hospital of lung cancer or something. <laughs> oh my god, no! no! No, no, no. It's really fucked up how people play, like in the fan fiction, like play on Cartier's vulnerabilities. And it's kind of like exploitative, do you think? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like, I didn't Cartier's know that would so be a depressed thing. and, you know, she's on the drugs again. <laughs> Trixie's like, Cartier's on the drugs again. No. Oh you know, God. it's just like, I think that's kind of exploitative, don't you think? I don't Some think Cartier's so best weird. reading about that. But it is good reading. It's oh really good God, reading. <laughs> I spent my whole day just reading it once. That's no, terrible. No... Yeah. But yeah. But no, it's amazing. I'm just seeing on Amazon, it's eight ninety nine. What the other one? The next one, the second one. Oh yeah, I've just seen it as well. Used for five ninety nine though. Yeah. As well. Anyway, I'm trying to look at any any other little facts about the artist or anything, or any any boys' greatest love. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Um. Anything else in the anime and manga news, Lex? I'm trying to think as well. I thought. Honestly, I've not been wanting to watch anime recently. I'm just not, no. Um, what do we think of uh, Kim K coming out and saying that she likes anime? You got any yeah. thoughts on that? I mean, like everyone else, I don't really know if she watches anime or if she was just sponsored by Crunchyroll. <laughs> 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 um, but if she does like anime, then that's pretty cool. Um, or if she just likes looking at I mean, pictures of anime and likes the hair. It is great. So um, I haven't watched any recently either. I watched um, um, one of Tari's recommendations, which was Devil Cryman. Yeah. Um, on Netflix. <coughs> and yeah. it is really good. Um, mm -hmm. And Mike really likes it. It has an amazing soundtrack. So Ooh. Part of me was like, 
there's just so much sexual sex scenes in it and tits yeah you know like quite um not something like fan servicey it's just like like it's 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 like a very cool anime but it's like sci-fi paranormal um really exciting sort of like do la 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 but on like a higher mm -hmm. sort of level mm -hmm. there's so much boobs and Penises not much story jacking off and like and I was just oh, really like, sorry is it worth is it worth the mystery to endure all of this sex scenes and he's like yeah i thought it was good and i'm just like <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's just a men thing and i just want to watch it because i was just like i, I don't want to see tits all the time i know it's anime but yeah i don't know i haven't watched I anything like that. people check that out because it's 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 like a hyper version of Do La La La, basically. Mm. Um, so I, sh I should get back on watching that. Um, and yeah, still on the Good Night Pom Pom trail. Oh, yeah, I still haven't bought book six. I because because I've been reading a couple of other comics at the side, so I, I'm also reading and I put this on our Instagram account, oh, Watchmen. And no, because I've got the whole collection. Should I just buy it tonight? I'm gonna to have to buy it, otherwise I'll be one short. I'll be six short, right? So, um, but I want to finish Watchmen because our group's tomorrow, and then I'm also I don't know reading. Why you're reading it. Okay, yeah. Um, isn't it like the movie? There's a guy who just has his dong out all the time. <laughs> no. Wait. No, Watchmen, I don't think so. I've, I've never seen the Watchmen movie, isn't there and I've never. Guy? No, no, they're all costumed. Well, I haven't seen the film. I've got no idea about it. So, can you hear me? I've just like left my microphone like way over here. Um, you sound much better now. Yeah. Oh no. I thought there was an issue with it. I'm just no. I am just scatterbrain. Oh um, no. But other news. Um, I'm now on three podcasts. What? Well, what's your third one? <laughs> Okay, so fuck? I got invited on to a, um, another role-playing one through people I met. Oh, Dragon oh really? Oh, yeah. my goodness. Shit. So called, um, I don't know if it's been released yet. It'll be this week or next week, but we've done, mm. like, three sessions, so it's going to... Oh, called amazing. The it's called The Curse of Penance, and it's basically, like, a themed... It's like a haunted house horror sort of themed one. Okay. Um, with, like, people I've... I've met one of them, but just like people I've just met online, and it's really yeah. fun. Um, yeah, so that's been really fun doing that during the week. That is really cool. And, and of course, you start to edit it. now. I don't have to edit it at all. That's, that <laughs> must be amazing for you. Yeah, I just play it. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, so that's been good. I mean, other news for this podcast. I was just <laughs> looking at other conventions. Um, I was saying, shall we talk about um, LAGC? <gasps> well, we're not doing it again, are we, Lex? Oh, I don't know. I'd like some feedback from other people. Um, mm -hmm. But basically, might not do that again, even though it's really fun. Mm. So we're kind of in two minds about doing LAGC again because yeah, got, it's just it's just just I don't want to get into it. We need more information about like how it's arranged and um, oh well how people are treated in the thing in the actual yeah, and it's just um, I don't know, I don't know. Like... But our calendar, so we'll be. Going to the Ladies Do Comics um, oh, yeah. Cheese and Wine evening. That's in a couple of weeks, I think, Lex. I can't really remember. I can't remember if it's next week or the week after. But I also remember you saying about the Medway comic screen. And film fest, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. But I can't go that weekend going, so I was going to ask if you were going. I never go because go. it's mainly like sci-fi stuff. It's not Oh, is it? I've never seen anything about anime on there, um, and oh, it's always it? like like a lot a lot of sci-fi series stuff that I've never even heard of. 
Um, they have they have the greatest Waterstone collection of manga in the country. Oh my god, yes, it's just me <laughs> Waterstones. <making> <laughs> They do. Just, I just and I talk to the guy who curates it in the flesh. Uh. And he didn't take much pride in it, though. I was a bit like, but you have such a good <laughs> taste. And I like, yeah. That's tragic. I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> have... That's hilarious. Um, but yeah, I think. So that's our. Oh, we've got, that's um, the main thing. And we've got the. Um, we're going to do stuff on Manga G-Man coming up. Um, that's coming up really oh, yeah. in May. We're going to go down to the, the organisers of... Um... Sorry, my dad. So, yeah, we're just working with the Japanese em embassy and the organisers of the Manga G-Man competition so, to kind of promote more of the Manga G-Man. And I couldn't believe how much bigger it was this year it was fab um i'd never been before yeah so because i've been so many times well not so many times a couple good every year for about six years it's loads. um yeah it's or maybe five or six years i it's just transformed and it has got bigger and bigger and bigger every single time it's just more entries so <laughs> yeah but that's good that's the whole point and the 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 caliber of work has always been really, really high. Good. Who do you think? Do you think? <laughs> I, I kind of find it a bit weird that just people re enter every single year and until eventually they win. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what happened to my cousin. So <laughs> I like... didn't realize that. I was like, oh, okay. But I like it because every, every, I've definitely heard them say a couple of years, like they see people come in and then they see people improve. Yeah. And, it's really nice that they still recognize the kind of styles that people have, but they just see the improvement in the panels and the layout and stuff like that. And I think that's what they saw with my cousin. And now Luca is like, like his work is, is professional grade level, like shading, all of that kind of stuff. Um, perspective work. Um, and it's all just, you know, it's, well, I think do that. They they sign up for these sort of competition. It just propels them to to go further and further with their work, and that's the point. Yeah. I mean, that's what Manga Jimin is all about yeah, as so well. We're going to be working with them um, in May to promote the. Um, sorry, my dad. You know, he's getting married in April. It's just all the time. It's just mm. something. Is he all right? Like, yeah, he's fine. Yeah. Is he? Um, it's just like when people have a wedding. There's always something they want to talk about isn't there something they've got to arrange yeah <laughs> yeah well yeah because he has been a bit ill when he texts me i'm like what's wrong and there's like something about the fucking wedding again <laughs> you've got the <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we're going to be working with Gmo to promote their competition basically um mm. so that's gonna be really exciting because tari's that's really got something in the works with them too yeah i was probing him yesterday yeah that's funny because i saw him yesterday mm. at the wip group that um i attend work in progress comics group and he i was trying to get him to do some more stuff but he brought that up i think he's still recovering after his artisan library organization which was fabulous it was such a good day and there was somebody i met somebody at the work in progress group who had seen our talk <gasps> Lex. like i'd never met him before but he saw our talk and he was like, it was really good. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. And, um, but we were both saying to Tari, it was such a good day. And he, cause that guy had also been to Joe's, so the workshop. Joe's workshop. And um, he was like, yeah, so I thought I'd come along and everything like that. So he was really sweet. And um, we were trying to get Tari to do another event. Mm. He's get, he's cause Joe, Joe's works. doing. Oh, I did see Joe. Yeah, doing Joe's something. doing a thing. It's next week. Mm. Um, I can't go because I'm at yoga. Um, I've got yoga all day. Um, but yeah, so if anyone wants to go, it's pretty cool. What it's is at it? The Shoe, Shoe Lane Library. It's based, I think it's like what Tari was doing um, at the library, at the Artisan Library. But it's all, I think it's all day Joe. All day Joe. <laughs> I think he's doing a workshop. 
Well, maybe not all day. I don't know how long it is because I can't go, so I don't have any of the details. I, I didn't. I didn't. Um, I didn't really want to read anything into it. Yeah. So, um, but other people, I don't know. I think there's. I think there's quite a few people going, and I think it is a longer thing. So it's not just an hour or two. Um, and it's a part of the shoe, shoe Lane Library. So the girl who runs it, I think her name is Laura. That's probably really wrong, actually. I can't remember. <laughs> she's also really nice. Like, I've met her quite a few times. And, is that the... Because uh, I went um, to the Shoe Lane Library. She's little, with long hair. Yeah, she's got blonde hair, yeah, lovely. with glasses on. Yeah. And she's done a lot for that library as well. I think someone told me once that she... It was her who was asking them to put in loads of graphic novels and start the group up and stuff like that she so she's was really cool on the panel about conventions wasn't she talking about because she's not yeah. based in london is she i don't remember i don't remember if she said she was based she's based somewhere else but yeah that was an interesting talk i really enjoyed that and then i'm just looking up now to see if there are any like little zine festivals or anything we can go to in the next couple of months because those are always nice oh yeah guys i started a patreon oh yeah of course i wanted to go and see it so well. people listening <laughs> go check it out basically we've got little tiers going and i think the top tier is like um gonna do like a little digital zine every month i thought it'd be fun yeah we... i think that was that's yeah it's a really nice idea yeah <laughs> But yeah, so check out our Patreon if you want to support us as well. Um, I just sort of did it on a whim and just going to see what happens with <laughs> most of yeah. my ideas. <laughs> well, you know, I, I have a comic, like, mm. yeah, I can put stuff up there. And um, and for the WIP group as well, we're hoping, actually I should promote that as Joe's thing, but doing some anthology stuff for, for their for. work. Oh, what are you doing for them then? Mm -hmm. It, well, it's an anthology that we're hoping to provide uh, to sell, maybe for Thought Bubble. Oh, wow. and that'd be amazing. So the whole group is doing something. Yeah, well so hopefully we'll, we'll put something together. And um, the theme is work, and better, I've got a good idea. You better work. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ladies do comics is on the thirteenth. Oh. <gasps> That's Wait, what? Tomorrow. Is it? It's not tomorrow. No, no, no. The festival must be tomorrow. But the actual thing is like, what? Wait, what? No, it can't be Lex. Can't do tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> I can't do what tomorrow do either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could do, but no. it would be a bit last minute. Um... No, no, no. Wait, did I fuck up the 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 date? What have you? Oh no, newsletter. What is this? This is from last year. No, Saturday, the 24th of March, they're doing a wine reception, 6 till 8 p.m. And I'm really glad they invited me to the wine reception because I can't go during the day. And the day is the um, the VIP, like, uh, ceremony, award ceremony for the, you know, the best, the best entrance, the sort of prize-giving ceremony. Oh. And because I entered, I would have been able to go. But because I'm at yoga all day can't go at all and I'm gutted because I know some I know another girl who entered um uh Becky and her work is phenomenal and I want to see what she did and she's told me about what she was writing and it's really cool and really like current you know topical it's about youth unemployment Ooh. and it's drawn beautifully and in this kind of like sketchy uh watercolor wash very very oh, nice lovely. and then there's me like i just submitted a story about my plants killing me so <laughs> it's funny your plants it's yeah but like there's some good there's some really good stuff out there so i would have been gutted not to be able to go at all so i really like the idea of going to the wine receptions after yoga so, so i'll probably be like reception then say so again 24th yes yeah, 24 i think that that is where the exhibition is during the day um i think they do the award ceremony in the afternoon and then there's the wine ceremony the wine evening in the in the very evening which oh. me and Lex are gonna go to yeah email that to me because it's not in my emails for some reason 
Oh, uh, uh, maybe I maybe met Emma you and didn't. Um, yeah, I think you did. Yeah, actually. so next episode will hopefully be Descending Stories, and then we'll do another one for Volume 2 of <gasps> Emma's Greatest Ooh. First Love. That was so fun. And in the meantime, yeah, good. Lara's cool. going to read some Trixia fan fiction. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then we get to talk about that as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so that that's it, I think. Subscribe! <laughs> that's what all the new yeah. people always say. Subscribe! Subscribe and like. Bye! Bye!